today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. Boros Convoke still isn't even the best Boros deck, and I'm going to prove it again. Hello! And welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Boros Convoke continues to get a ton of play on ladder, especially at Platinum and higher up in Mythic, where it's the most played deck on some days. Dethroning the great and powerful lord of our realm, Mono Red, which is mind-blowing to me. But Boros Convoke isn't even a great best of one deck. There are decks that are faster. There are decks that are more glass cannon, and Boros Convoke doesn't run enough root removal to deal with them. And here is another such example. If Boros Convoke is such a powerful turn three plus deck, let's run a deck that wins on turn three more consistently again. So this is Illuminator Virtuoso, you know, knife hands. Dr. Phil, I think on YouTube had knife hands. Some of you YouTube people know what I mean. This is a deck all about getting out Virtuoso, making it huge and winning. It's it's Boros Boggles, Boros Heroic, Boros whatever you want to call, make the one creature do awesome things and win. Our creature sweet are two copies of Skrelv Deflector Might, four scamps, four Electrostatic Infantry, which have Trample and get plus one plus one when you cast an instant or sorcery, four Virtuosos, three Angel Fire Ignitions, which is the reason we can race anything out there. We have a new card, it's Felonous Rage. This gives plus two, plus zero oh in haste, and when the creature dies, you make a detective. This is awesome with Scamp. It's also awesome when the opponent board wipes, and then you play this on a Pummeler or a Virtuoso. Maybe you have four mana, so you can play one more pump spell and get in there for the win. We do protect Virtuoso with Skrelv, Boon of Safety, and Lauren's Escape. These aren't as removable, these aren't as removable, reliable. These aren't as reliable as the blue cards like slip out the back. So that's why Boros might be a little bit uh, weaker in some matchups, especially those with board wipes, temporary lockdown, than the blue white version of the Virtuoso deck. But what this version has is Angel Fire Ignition and yeah, that card, Monstrous Rage. Big old trample, just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. The, it, it's absolutely nuts. Once again, we're going to go out there. We're going to find the other Boros players. And we're going to trample double strike all over them. And they're going to sit there wondering why when they convoke their Ranger Eos, the Knight Errant of Eos thing that they didn't get to untap and win. And they're going to be sad. And that's enough for me. Even if it means I'm playing dirty little aggro. Thank you to the sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com. I hope you're enjoying March Fall Madness. Uh, fall? March Fall Madness? Yeah, fired. No sponsorship. March Foil Madness. Uh, I know I am. I placed another order yesterday with a ton of foils. So make sure you get in on that before the end of the month. And thank you to Ultimate Guard. I love these Sidewinders with the floral prints. This is my beautiful, hold on, checks notes. Uh, Tulum Blue is the the proper name of my new deck box, which I take to the LGS and put my decks in. And I am very grateful for this sweet set. I, they, they sent me a whole set of three, which I'm just keeping in their beautiful packaging to show off on the stream. Ah. So hope you like that. Check that out. Link in the description. Get yours today. Okay, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the draw, turn two critter, turn three. Destroy. Our opponent gains a life. How will we ever overcome this? Black mana, not what you want to see when you don't have protection in your hand. Are we going to play against somebody who's running cut down already? Let's find out. I think we'll start with this card. Because it's going to die. Do they enjoy this? Genuine question. Stick. What could they cast on empty board? Okay, they're just herd migrating. Now the great test. Do they have another removal spell? 
Decks like this can't run that many spot removal spells. They just have too much of this stuff in them. See? Um, wow. A lot of lands. I think they're dead. <laughs> Let's figure it out. So, we want the things that apply the most bang for the buck. This is one of them. They're at 26. 26 might be too much. Sixteen. Uh, if we get to ten, it's twenty. This is another ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, it's the connive. So it's ten, eleven. So I can deal twenty-two, or we can hold up Boon of Safety. I guess I'll hold up Boon of Safety. I'm not sure what they use to recover, but if we can't finish the job, let's just get as close as we can. Upkeep, gaze. So, if they do this on upkeep, how are they going to bring all these lands back this turn? I don't think they will. Uh, yeah. That's a blocker. I mean, do they run Fading Hope? Well, if they do this, if they do, they have me anyway, because we can't pr protect against a fading hope. Okay. They're just dead. They're just dead. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so much dirtle for nothing. On the play, let's see if we can get the mythical turn three kill. Oh, hi. This is mono red. They play mono red. So, does that mean I have to hold? I think it does because we have the escape, right? Which means we do nothing this turn, which is very sad. But here we are. I think we have to. I think we have to play more carefully. Can't get blown out here. Uh... 3-2 Trample. How exciting. Knife hands, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Swifty with Swifty. Oh, you're cool. Do your thing. Show me how cool you are. Oh no, it's a play with fire. Whatever shall we do? You think they have another one? Oh, you got me, dog. Hmm. Nice little top deck there, though. You want to try it again? Well, there's no world where I don't have to get involved here, so we got to do it. Let's do it. Dead. All right. Are you out of your little burn spells now? Yeah. Play your three, two. Okay, cool. Uh, let's, uh, add one mana of any color. Nope. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Now let's get their attention. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. All three. I wish they'd stuck around to see more. 
get on a red. On the place, Grelv, no other creature. Easy. Not a problem. I'm nuts. Let's get nuts. Just gotta draw another creature in this hand is bonkers, so we take the risk. This helps. Ooh, goody, land. Love that. Helix. Demo. All right, Boros a little behind here. What are you doing, Boros? Okay, this has to come down now or it comes down tapped to the next turn. Here's my infantry. Could have gotten in there with haste. Was I supposed to? Maybe. I don't know, for some reason I thought they'd like mess with me. But yeah, I should have gotten in there. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh, join the squad. Love this. Love this. That can go in the bin. And we're off to the races. What you got? I don't think they can do it. I don't think they have what it takes. I've played against Boros when they use their gleeful demolition on my Skrelv. Mother. I still think I got him. Oh, -ho! we have a chump locker alert. To the top rope. No blocks. Interesting choice. Lethal. They even had removal in their Boros deck. And they still got dumpstered. Hmm. Hmm. I don't feel like this hand does it. I really don't. We got turn one scamp into felonous rage with boon of safety, and that's it. So nope. Absolutely not. Uh, okay, so we draw a white source, and this is better. So hope for the best. Gotta draw the white source, though. Scamp. Here come the humans. Oh, it's Boros again. Oh, good. How oh, nice. Ah, okay. I think they block, right? I would if I were them. So we don't attack. And we don't anger. If we anger and hit an untapped white source, though, we get to develop the Skrelva turn earlier. Still. Yeah, okay. Hmm, that's pretty good, right? They block. We trample over. We get a t detective. Okay. Also, being down a creature is a serious cost for Boros. They have a certain tempo they need to keep. I don't think we cast this if they don't block. This is going to be a tough one. Out of Virtuoso, we need another pump spell or two. Hello? Are you or are you not a gamer? Okay. The draw I was looking for. All right. Well. I want the Skrelv on the field. The question is, do we attack afterwards and they're going to resolute reinforcements? And then they just put one token in front of this. We use this, we get some damage through and we get a detective, but I don't think that's good enough for the way that our hand is shaping up. I think we don't attack. Horrible. Disaster.
probably their last land, which means four spells, which means we are in big trouble. And this feels like the right number to convoke out a 4-4. Four four. Yeah, this game's over. I wonder what we could draw. They're at 18. So we need to get through nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if we draw a Monstrous Rage. Another one. So that's five, six, seven. We can deal them 14. On our next turn, are we dead? Legitimate question. All right, let's put a counter here. Vigilance helps a lot. The only use for our pump spells is a lethal use. It has to be that way. We put them to 16. The next turn, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14. So it's gotta be this. Then they take, they go to 15. 16, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more point of damage off the top. It'll have to do. We're at 18. We probably just lose to a recruiter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we're definitely dead to a recruiter. There's nothing I can do about that. So we have to play as if they don't have a recruiter. And see if they just don't get there. Coming up a little short. But show me a recruiter so I can scoop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well, we can't get past that with a Skrelv. That's a problem. Please tap it. Please use Warden with it. We need them to use Warden with the Epicure and the Frontliner. Or we need to draw like a Monstrous Rage, some kind of way to gain Trample. Okay. They did scry to the top. That's probably Recruiter. I don't know what else I'd keep there. They also have a Black Creature. So we do need the Trample. Without the Trample, this won't work. All about the Trample. And we do have like a ton of ways to get it. So, Monstrous Rage, Ancestral Anger, these are the good cards. Um, opponent? Why'd they do that? Now we just need a point of damage again. No respect? No! Math, again, this is gonna hurt. Oh wait, they took one, they took one, they took one. They took one from the forge, they're at 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, yeah, ah, he, he, set him. Mm, mm. Okay, 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 this is fine, it's fine, it's fine, this is 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 fine. Oh, this is fine, oh baby, oh yeah, oh yeah. Have a little of this, and then we give him a little of that, and then we, boom. Take action! Boom! Boom! Sucks to suck! Doesn't it? Yeah! Boros! <laughs> On the play. Uh, please draw untap land. Please. I guess on turn two we can play Skrelv and Scamp. Yeah, we'll do that. Epicure. Is this a new deck? Let's take our time with our Virtuoso and get all set. Prepared for battle. Protected from case of the whatever express.
Well, I guess I know what they're about to do. Give it to them. If they want to block it, I'll kill both of their resolute reinforcements. Still have a protected virtuoso. It should give me time to get land and use angel fire to get way out of their range. Yeah, that's a little oopsie. Uh, I'll take this action. They need their creatures. And we'll pick off the red one so it's easier to name white and get virtuoso through. They play a call. No attacks. That's respect. No lands. It's disrespect. No vigilance. But we roll. Trigger is land. I don't think they can kill me next turn, but we'll put them to the test. 16. They don't have to kill me, they have to get me to two, because then I can't cast my spells. Cavern? What you got? Oh, oh, are we? Oh, we're convoking. Okay. I'm very scared. Game! I, they didn't even stay to see what happens next. I'm disappointed. Don't you want to see the fireworks? Things were about to ignite. On the draw? Yee. Hopefully we draw another creature so we can run something out on turn two. Otherwise it's going to be really tough. Unless they're just playing Boros again, in which case I probably just, oh yeah, there we go. Easy. I like keeping them guessing, you know. Got that stick on already going on. Wow, just slam it. Yeah, we gotta scry. If we don't scry, what are we doing? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You think they're gonna have removal? You think they have case of the getaway express here? Well, now that we drew this, Like, what I wanted to is play a protected virtuoso and then ignite it. Will I live that long? I think I'm playing the virtuoso. On the draw? I think I have to. I'm, I'm just not moving fast enough against what they're offering, which is a turn four kill. If they have case of the getaway express, I don't think we can win. But if they do this... Maybe we can't even lose. And that's not the Convoke Knight. Yo. Appreciate it. Are you gonna scoop? <laughs> You're thinking about it, aren't you? You're thinking about it. All right, can they kill me next turn? I don't think they can, but this is still the right play. I was trying to think about getting the infantry down. Nah. You take eight, I'll gain eight. I'll make a creature that basically kills everything you throw at it. And I'll threaten to do it again. Uh huh. Yep, you did that. Let me get this player a cookie. Look at how Boros they are. Down to 19. We do not have the land, but my god, can we do some damage? Kinda, we need another red source, don't we? All right, let's start here. It kind of gives away things, but if we hit the land drop, 
All right, we didn't. What you gonna do? Is that all? That's not enough. <laughs> Typical Boros ladder toilet gamer spotted. Now that is not a keepable hand. That's better. It, are, are you kidding me? All right. Oh, this time we might really, 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 really need the land and the angel fire. Welcome to the Boros queue where the meta is Boros and we play Boros. And resources are free. But exceptionally boring. I mean, one of them has to beat me. We've gone second against them so many times, but haven't lost. This is a mulligan. This is a two land hand. There's no angel fire ignition. This has to be their moment, right? Right? So it might have been better in this case to play the infantry because we could rage the virtuoso next turn and the infantry still gets pumped. I still don't, I'm not sure we'll have time for the infantry though. That one's popping off a bit hard, but my goodness, just draw me an angel fire ignition, right? The infantry, I'm pretty sure I'm just getting rid of to go all in on virtuoso. Hey, they got all this mana open. What you gonna do? Sure, post-combat. Who cares? Like, really. Nobody cares. So, at 12, if they have the recruiter, they don't have it. Okay. Alright, we've gotta kinda go off here. Not really a choice. Let's uh, target, get a trample, and draw another infantry. That's bad. That is bad. Is this going to be the time we lose? Maybe. Yeah, it's the time we lose. We flood. No way around it. Here's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're dead. Well, that is one way to lose. Literally draw all the lands in your deck. So, sad, but happens. Today's random Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Riley Wentz. Riley, you're cool. And thank you for becoming a member of the Cool Kids Club and enjoying early access to all my videos, as well as occasional live streams and other fun stuff like this random shout out. So I went six and three playing this deck. I know you can click the untapped link in the description. If you download the client after doing that, it supports the channel and you can see my stats. I went six and three with a glass cannon. Now boggles type decks, uh, what are they known as? They're known as boggles. They're known as Voltron. They're, they're known as heroic strategies that revolve around getting one creature and making it huge in standard have a very specific type of window. Uh, we recently saw this in Pioneer as well, where a Boros Heroic deck got all the way to the finals of the recent Pro Tour of Pioneer. And it's a certain kind of meta that's perfect for these types of decks. It's that meta where the opponents focused on their own thing and not your thing, but your thing is a little fast. Sure, yours is the easier thing to disrupt. The opponents with all their cut downs can keep you from winning with your Virtuoso deck. That is 100% true. Especially when you stop playing the blue version with slip out the back and shore up like those cards are awesome for keeping your creatures alive this deck relies on lauren's escape which isn't as good because it still you know dies to exile or things like that and i i guess it dies to sunfall specifically but you get the idea so when your deck isn't that resilient you need a certain kind of meta that kind of meta is the boros 
convoke meta because they're just trying to do their thing that they think is the coolest, bestest, fastest, strongest thing in the whole meta. And you come in and say, yeah, but what if you died first? What if you were already dead? Or what if I gained so much life I could ignore your thing? And I love that. I think as much as I hate playing decks this aggressive that win on turn three sometimes and turn four consistently, I love making them respect the game because a deck that doesn't actually interact, in my opinion, doesn't really respect the game. This one has very specific weaknesses. Just kill the creature. Dang it. It's not that hard, but it also in its way doesn't respect the game. But as soon as people respect this deck, this deck is solvable. Same thing for the angel deck, to be honest. Uh, as soon as people respect it, it's beatable. Boros Convoke isn't respecting it, so it loses to it. But Boros Convoke is such a powerful strategy if nobody is respecting Boros Convoke that it wins a ton of games. I love it when something that just kind of has that built-in moat of like strength and power associated with it, like Boros, gets its comeuppance in something stronger because they just didn't want to solve any problems. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoy it too. For me, watching a meta deck get its comeuppance is one of the things that's fun about Magic and it's fun to share with you guys. So if you want to see Boros get their comeuppance, I recommend this deck. I would cut the Scamps. I think the Scamps are in the wrong deck. What would I do? Scamps out completely. I would go up to four Skrelf. I mean, if, worst case scenario, you just discard one to the Virtuoso. It's probably a better protection spell than Boon of Safety. It's probably a better protection effect than Lauren's Escape. Just go to four Skrelf. So you can go turn one Skrelf, turn two thing to protect, turn three stuff. And I would run, I mean, you can have the Angel Fire Ignition. You can have two more Skrelves. You can have another Boon of Safety. But I would run Blessed Defiance. This one right here. Plus two plus O oh, and Lifelink until end of turn when it dies, make a spirit. I would run this. I think that this is the card. This card will make sure that you have lifelink at a cheaper cost. Sometimes tapping out for angel fire wasn't stabilizing you enough when it's on like an infantry or a scamp. So I like the idea of using this one mana card so you can also team it up with these other one mana cards and you also get more triggers off your virtuoso if you're casting more spells. So that's what I would do. Plus the defiance in scamp out. Thank you for why. Oh, and two more scrolls if you got them. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.